Hey. Oh, hey there. What are, you, what, are you, what are you doing there, Jay? What is that giganto over there? <laughs> this is your worst nightmare. No, no, it's, it's, this is your most pleasant dream ever. This is the Clear Audio Statement Turntable version 2 with a TT1 tangential tracking tone arm and, of course, the Goldfinger cartridge. Uh, total value, a lot. This is really <laughs> expensive. Total value, a lot. It is. Is my car more expensive than this, or is this more expensive? Uh, this is like the price of a house. A house? Well, a condo. A condo. In a, you know, not a, a super expensive market like Toronto, but maybe more like uh, Stouffville or someplace like that. Is that including the furniture, or is that just a house? Uh, that would just be the house, not including okay. the garage or anything like that, but just, yeah, you know. That's whatever. not so bad, guys, right? All right. <laughs> so you want to know how this baby works? Yeah, how does that work? So there's a button here. It says on off. All right. Switch it on. Okay. And you'll see the speed go up. Okay. From almost nothing to 33.3. .3. Which is the correct tracking. Right. So this turntable is mm -hmm. considered one of the 10 most expensive turntables that uh, you can get. Um, it incorporates a lot of technical innovations. Um, and yet, at the same time, it is really simple. It is really simple. So when you look at it... <laughs> you no, no, call no. that simple? Well, it's, well, let me explain. All right. All right. So the turntable itself has no suspension. But it does in the terms of having a gimbal design. So the turntable can rock her back and forth. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's going to tip over. No. You can see it's designed to... Uh, control any vibrations by dissipating it with a uh, side-to-side motion. As you can see down here, there is a 95 kilogram uh, pendulum. It's uh, tunable in terms of uh, being able to accommodate whatever tone arm is on there. The, the different masses up on top of this uh, turntable assembly, the chassis. Mm -hmm. uh, and so let me go through some of the other technical innovations. The stand itself is comprised of stainless steel and panzer wood. This is a special high pressure plywood. It's considered to be bulletproof. Um, in this version of the table, it is lacquered black. Uh, so it actually looks kind of like really shiny and uh, yeah. almost uh, like uh, not wood. <laughs> so the other innovations, obviously, because it's layered like this, it controls resonance. Um, Hardly anything will move through the floor in terms of vibrations. The uh, suspension, as it, as it is the pendulum, will control any kind of uh, up and down motions, maybe if it's on a sprung floor or something like that. Um, that's what it's designed for. Um, the drive system is fairly unique. It uses a microprocessor controlled um, electric motor that it would be not out of place in like a Mercedes or something like that. In fact, made by the same company. Um, it is so smooth that if you were to take the motor in your hand and run power through it and have it spin, you would not be able to tell that it's spinning outside of the torque. There's no, no vibration. So if you touch the turntable, it is perfectly steady. There's nothing, you cannot feel any kind of environmental uh, resonance. Everything is damped out. So. This drive system itself is unique. So the motor sits in the back. There's a big motor in the back. And if you look here, there is two platters. Uh, the bottom platter has the belt attached to the motor. Mm -hmm. And the top platter is attached to the actual turntable platter. Uh, the drive platter is connected to a shaft, and the shaft is a ceramic and in between here they see this little gap yeah that's the magnetic bearing so there's two ring magnets that oppose sorry that oh. oppose each other and they mm -hmm. sit like this and the ma magnetism causes it to s repel and so it's kind of floats on a cushion of air so if you look down here I don't know if your camera can capture this but you can see right through the drive system here there are magnets embedded in this platter that match to magnets in the top platter and when the bottom platter spins it uh, 
forces the top magnets here to spin along with it. So that's how the system works. So technically speaking, I could just stop this. The bottom platter would be still be spinning and the top one would stop. So that sounds also complicated, Philip. It's not is, that complicated. Is, that, is this necessary for a turntable? Well, we're going to play it in a little while and then you tell me. All right. Uh, here are some other technical innovations of this table. Uh, this is not really a technical innovation, but it can accommodate four tone arms in these towers here. So this can be a tone arm, that can be a tone arm, so forth. Uh, we have the TT1 included here. This is the world's best tangential tracking tone arm. It's also the world's simplest. Yeah, I have a similar one like that in my turntable. Well, the, uh, that Polish thing that you're using that you got from <laughs> uh, our friend. Uh, yep, yeah. All right. So this table, uh, in days of, you know, the past turntables, a lot of them would have... Um, uh, linear tracking systems using worm gears, which are noisy, and uh, they would sometimes use pumps, air pumps, that would also be noisy. Yeah. Uh, this system is totally passive. Uh, it has a polished glass tube, two of them inside there, and the tone arm is attached to some roller bearings, which trace along the tube. So there's almost no friction, and the, the spinning of the record will cause the tone arm to track across like this. And back and forth. So there's almost no mass, there's almost, there's no tracking error, there's, uh, there's no need for anti-skate. Very, very, very simple, very long lasting. Uh, very m small forces are at work here. So uh, there's not a lot of wear and tear. So the tone arm is placed into position, and the, the, it's positioned like this, and it's playing. Now, uh, I don't have the preamp set up, but I will switch it to the preamp now. Is that the gold finger? That's like more than my house. Thank you. 